Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we are going to work on part two. Wait, that doesn't make sense. We're going to do part two of working on the new bonsai tree. This is the old bonsai tree or the first bonsai tree. This one is sold just so everyone knows here right at the beginning. I keep getting emails about it. This one is, is gone. I just still have it because I want to take pictures of this one and the other bonsai tree together that we are going to be uh, officially starting today. If you watched part one, that was me prepping a bunch of forks and stuff, which we won't need until uh, maybe part two or so. Uh, in part one, we are going to be making the uh, trunk. Would you call it a trunk? I don't know, they're so small. I guess it's still technically a trunk. And, uh, and we'll see how far we get. We're gonna probably stay on for about an hour or so. And uh, if you have questions or, uh, or whatever, Ashley is right here and she will be reading your comments and stuff and uh, we'll try to do it how we've done it before. So I'm going to move you closer, but not too close because I don't want, I don't want uh, to ruin the phone like I did several times before. Uh, if you can't hear me, make sure you just tell me in the comments. If you, uh, if you want to be moved a little bit closer, a little bit far away, then I guess we'll, we'll deal with that as well. Um, just so you know that this light is not damaging to your eyes, it is only damaging to my eyes, but I will be wearing uh, a welding hood, so don't fret for me. Uh, I just got this one today. It's got more settings on it, which is nice. Uh, and it will, be, uh, it will be my protection from this light. Um, okay, so we're making it out of scrap metal just like the first one. And uh, I'm basically gonna be starting with this giant bolt that I just had. Hold on. I just had it. See, when you keep your workbench this messy. <laughs> I was just working on this chicken here, so so it's a little uh, scrambled with, with well, mess. Is a chicken, not a rooster? Oh, it's a or rooster. Or like a hen? It's Sorry. a rooster. I almost made it a hen, but then I put on these feathers here and then I was like, ah, it's going to be a rooster. She looks like more like slim, so that's what I thought. Thank you, Ashley Lane. He doesn't have his side feathers yet. Ah. I'm out of forks, so I don't know what I'm going to do there just yet. But anyway, my thing is a little messy here. I, I had a big bolt. Hold on, guys. Let me... You know what? This bolt will work. Okay, so the goal is to make it look... Oh, here it is. There it is. I was gonna use this, but now I'll just go back to my original one. This is galvanized though, so maybe I will use this. Um, uh, Delphina, yes, he got your email about Caden. You Delphina's email about Caden. Oh, yes, uh, yes. We're just figuring out what shipping costs, Delphina. Uh, okay, so this is going to be our trunk. It was gonna be this, but this is galvanized and welding on galvanized is not so good. Um, okay. Did you see that super tap from Ashley? Oh, Ashley Lane, thank you. I think I saw it, but maybe I didn't say anything. Uh, okay. Janice RC said, I didn't know welding helmets had settings. How does that work? Um, right here, if you can, wait, is it there? Hold on a second. No, right here. You can see that it can go like darker all the way to grinder. So if you put it to grinder, it won't darken this. Uh, and then you're still able to see because once see if I can show you that. Okay, so we can see how that goes, goes dark. That's basically what happens when it sees a spark. And uh, there's other settings in here that will linger. The darkness will linger in case uh, you're sensitive to bright lights. So sometimes when you're welding, actually all the time when you're welding, obviously it heats up and it creates a glow, and sometimes that glow can hurt your eyes, so you can adjust when the auto darkening goes back to normal light. When you look through here, it looks like you're looking through sunglasses, and then as soon as there's a spark, it goes really dark and you can't see anything except for your art. So Fina says, wow, is that new? Yeah, it's new today. Yeah, I just got it today, because my other one is needed a new uh, uh, lens. And uh, they were out of lenses, so I decided to get this one. Okay, we're gonna start by cleaning this off a little bit. This is the first time you've used it? Yeah, today is the first time I used it. All right. 
We're going to be on for about an hour today, and I'm going to try my best to get a decent amount done. because that is very dusty, but we're good. We're not gonna be doing too much grinding today as far as I'm uh, planning. Okay, so this is gonna be our, our trunk, and you can kind of see how a sculpture kind of starts. Like for something like this, I intentionally make it so you can see what everything is, but for this one, we're gonna do a little more shaping to it where it'll be less obvious. And how we're going to start it, hmm. Let's see here. I have an idea of a shape I want to do. So let's see here. You know what we'll do? Here, we're going to weld this to the bench. Make sure my gas is on, which it is. Okay. starting. I know that seems uh, like just about nothing right now, but you'll see it'll turn into something. So I think maybe we will start with this. Got a piece of rebar here. I'm going to cut this into a piece. Cutting this into a smaller manageable piece. For a second I thought I was on fire. <laughs> you can see this has been on fire a few times. I thought I was on fire again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I might not be able to bend this super easily. And I realized I forgot to pick up my uh, more gas for my torch. We'll see. Okay. Oh, okay. I want to tighten this up. I wish I had a snipe, but I don't have one in here. We used it for something. Oh. Dang it. Hmm. I might have to do this with uh, thinner stock and then just fill it up. Connie says it's easier to push than pull. Uh, not in this case, it's way easier to pull this. Uh, I have that bender over there. 
I just need something that's going to be super stuck to the ground. Because this swivels. I need so I need a. Yes, I do. It was made by, uh, what's her name again? Uh, Roberta. Okay, you know what? We're not going to do it out of that. We're going to do it out of thinner rebar. Connie, Connie Parents says, can you buy some ticks? No. Connie, I believe it was Connie sent the email with the ticks that were for sale on Edson or near Edson. Oh, okay. real quick one second sorry that this is I'm not super prepared um. no formal training but I did used to work for the city in the fab shop where I learned some stuff very easily this bench now no, I'm going to see if I can bend that thing one because I really wanted to make it out of the stick. We'll see if this will bend nicely. If not, we'll use the thinner stuff and we'll just build it up. Tracy D says, give it. The smiley face. Oh. Okay, hold on a second. and Phoebe, they're doing good. Now that Peep is gone, doing great. Okay. Okay, that gives me some, that gives me some, uh, that's exactly what I wanted to do.
but it's just you don't want it to spring back. You want it to stay in place. Okay. I mean, this isn't spring steel, so it's okay. I may have to just cut this and and do it again, but this is a good start. We don't want to spend the whole day just bending a piece and then that's part one, or part two. That would be boring. Just what I was about to do when I said, oh, I have an idea. And then someone said about the snipe going the other way. That's exactly what I was going to do. And I may still do that. With the, the last sculpture like this, there was a lot of filler work. And I can just, I can just waste a whole bunch of wire and fill it. Or I can grab like pieces of scrap, like this old bit here, and then I can put that in places, and then there's a lot of metal that just gets covered up, or a lot of uh, voids that get covered up by a piece of metal. Uh, I'm not ready to do that just yet. I'm gonna get the basic shape in here. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Canadian Tire. Ugh. But this is actually better than my Lincoln electric one. Way better. It also, it costs more, but still. Uh, so far, it's good. Brickman said, sorry, Chatter, just dropped in. Hope you're building. Oh, we're making a bonsai tree here. Okay, <laughs> there we go. What? It's kept falling down on you. Okay. So. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted it to do. Chris said, I wonder if it would hurt to stick your hand in those sparks. I'll allow morbid curiosity. I will It doesn't hurt that much. But it doesn't really burn. It's more like uh, getting hit with sand. I mean, eventually it'll start hurting. Like after maybe, 
don't know, 10 seconds, but just to stick your hand in it doesn't hurt. I mean, depends. If you're a, if you're a little kid, it's going to hurt, but... imagination you can kind of imagine you know it's swooping and then we're gonna have a you know you'll see I don't want it to be too heavy up top because I don't want it to fall over this other one I have here right it just rests on this wooden base and it doesn't topple unless you make it topple uh, kind of want that same sort of idea for this one Put it there just so you can kind of see it in the background more or less. Okay. Leslie, Beckwith says I have a giant metal screw. I will send you something. Hope you can make a bug out of it. Cool. I probably can. I made a bunch of dragonflies. Uh, I think I have to make a couple mosquitoes, praying mantises, and some other stuff here right away. I'll probably be working on it in the next couple days. Okay. Brickman says, any updates on building a gorge? Who asked that? Brickman. I don't know who that is. Uh, no, no updates. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that's done exactly. But, uh, Clint wants a forge, and I want a forge. And Armando, my neighbor, he think, he's thinking of building a forge. And we might just use his if he's okay with that. He's already said it's okay if I use it, but I don't know if he's cool with Clint using it, whatever. It would be in his yard, obviously, in his little uh, horse or sheep shelter. Okay, I can't do that. Okay. So this is kind of what I did with this. I tried to bend it all intricately all in one piece, which I did some of it, but then I was like, you know what, that's way too hard. I'm going to do it in pieces. So that's kind of what we're doing here, okay? Metal. 
No, I, I get the general principle. Again, I want to build it with someone else. I want it to be super efficient and just nice. I want it to have everything that I'll ever need. If it's a pass-through, I want to have like those cool little things so it's not, you don't have to move the bricks by hand individually with your, or not by hand, you burn your hands off, but like, you know, I want it to be like, I've seen one that I really like and I want to do that one. I know there's plenty of resources out there, I just am not going to use them uh, intentionally. I know that they're there. Uh, I just know that I'm going to do something else here. Tony says, when Alex talked about your shop the other night, I think he started the wheels turning. I wasn't there for that, so I don't know what he said, but I'm glad that he's inspired by it. I mean, he talked about it a little bit with me, that he liked it, um, which is cool. I like it when people like my space here. We had a client come over, Clint had a client come over yesterday and the day before, dropping off and picking up something that Clint did for him, and he liked the shop. It's cool. And Dan says, hi Josh, hi Ashley, good to see you working on another bonsai tree. So happy to catch you live for a bit, hope you were well. Hi Dan. Hi Dan. Who was that? Dan. Dan. Sorry, did video. Oh, yeah. Hi Dan. Hi Dan. Hi Dan. Hi Dan. Oh, okay. If the person who's getting, I forget what her name is, but there's a person who's, who's for it, and maybe she'll watch it. And then she's gonna get her husband, it's a gift for her husband, and she's gonna get him to watch it, maybe, if he wants to. Esmer Ben asked, did you and Armando ever plant the Saskatoon trees along the next line? Oh, you are a patron. Uh, not yet. Didn't get a chance, because we needed a backhoe. Didn't want to dig them up by hand, so we didn't want to kill them. And the person with the backhoe wasn't able to help. But uh, we'll get to that. Deborah. How long does it normally take you to do a sculpture? Oh, it really depends on what it is. It's going to take way too long to do this one, but I don't mind. Uh, Robert Farley says, do you ever stick weld? I have a stick welder, but I've never tried it. What about an old carrier sword? What about it? What do you mean? What do... Like, what do you have on like that? I, I don't know what they look like, but I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Um, if you're asking if I would take one, I would take one if someone's giving it to me, but I'm not going to make one. There we go, that's what I want. This ground sucks. Okay. Brickman says, do you use a plasma cutter? I don't have one. I would love to have one. Um, but I don't have one. Oh, where's the... Oh, was it this? Right. Let me think here, let me think here. Um, a few people are talking about the photos live on Monday, and Stephanie Patterson says that he got get some cool gifts from that one viewer for sure, a PS4, and this week a 3D printer. You got a 3D printer? Nice. From from Troy? From the same person who gave him on PS4, I don't know. Dude, and he has another package in the mail. Really? Like I I picked it up yesterday. Oh my goodness. From that same guy. That's so nice. Martha says yes from Troy. Okay, let's 
see here. Let's see here. Oh, he got more subscribers. Well, if you guys haven't subscribed to my brother, make sure you follow Madness Channel. If we have a moderator on, if you could post a link. If you don't have, if the no moderators are present, that's cool. I'm Madness like, Channel. Lindsay, let's get there. Lindsay, my friend Lindsay. Lindsay's also working on something for me currently, so you guys should also go follow her. But Lindsay, if you could post a channel link to uh, Dakota's channel. If you guys haven't seen his show, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes I'm on it. Okay. Perfect. he gets sent stuff or he's like what the heck like someone sent him a bible one time someone sent him like uh did someone send him oh i can't remember maybe it wasn't him maybe it was someone else i'm pretty sure someone sent him like yeah it was him what the heck was it it was like a random oh yeah it was a cable and nothing like that just, it was like a HDMI cable. Oh, but didn't he realize, didn't, and I know that that was for the PS4? Oh, maybe it was. Okay, maybe yeah. it was. I think that was the best. Brian Hack says, um, my local nursery has metal sculptures for sale here in Australia. I'll send some text pretty cool. Cool. Pop Jensen says, hi from Denmark. Hello. Hello. Mary says, hi Josh and Ashley from New Hampshire. Hi Mary. Hello. Sarah and Deputy says she's painting all kinds of rocks to decorate the flower and vegetable pots. She can't do large paintings right now, but I think I'm going to paint some succulents on Sunday. Nice. It's going to be Nice. I haven't done this before, dude. Matthew's here. Hello, Matthew. What the hell? Hello, Matthew. Make sure everything. No, 
Same bottle. This will last a long time. Do you guys remember last time when something wasn't working? I keep adjusting my wire speed here. It feels like a wire speed issue. ground issue. My my ground doesn't have, usually it has like a braided uh, like copper or bronze or something and it's missing it. So maybe maybe it's just too dirty. Seven is a, so is this called a family friend or just a really big fan? What? Is Troy a family friend or just a really big fan? Must be a big fan. I have no idea who that guy is. Okay, guys, this is going to be, unless I change my mind as we go, but this is going to be the basic, basic shape there. Okay, so it'll sit like this at an angle. Let's see if I can get that whole thing in there here. It's kind of hard to see with the busy background, right? All of this uh, needs some shaping and some bulk put on it. A lot more bulk down here because I want this to travel nicely and get nice and fat. Um, I'm not sure how they go about shaping bonsai trees, but I'm going to pretend that that whatever I do is actually possible with a real tree. I'm assuming I don't I don't know what to assume, but I'm assuming that it'll be fine. tells me that it's just gonna fall down. So, how much time do we have left? We have about 15 minutes. If you have any questions, ask them now, as I uh, add some more bulk to the bottom here, which I'm basically going to be doing with uh, some scrap. I got a whole bunch of little scrap pieces like this uh, that I'm gonna be adding to here, just to kind of make it go quick. If someone paid for the person behind them, I would just take that and then make the person behind them pay. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I could have done that. Because how would they know? I would like to pay for the person behind them. Okay, awesome. I guess it doesn't work since it's cash, but uh, <laughs> that would be terrible. What do you mean? They were going to pay for it anyway.
Yeah, this is awesome. Erica says, hi Josh and Matt, hello Josh and Ashley. You're one of the nicest couples out there, love your creativity and chill attitude at Josh Alexander. Thank you, hello. Thank you. I just know that the welder here is on 115, but you can get 240, uh, 240, yeah, 240. You get 220. The table saw runs off of 220. Uh, I mean, it just depends. In your house, it's normally 110, right? And then kitchen stuff is 115 or something, or the fridges, I don't know. I could be totally wrong. If anyone here is an electrician, This rooster is for someone. If they decide not to take it, then it'll go to the next person who's on the list and so on and so forth. I think I have to make like five or six more after this one. Maybe more, maybe less. I kind of forget. I've emailed people about hearts uh, and their dragonflies. So, same sort of idea. If people pass on that, then it goes to the next person. Okay. And Jan says, my nurse is here to let me out of this joint, so I'm going to get the IVs disconnected and go home to make a hot cup of tea and an omelet. Great to see you for a few. Take care, Josh and Ashley. All right, I'm good. Have a good rest of your day, John. You know what I kind of like? Mm -hmm. I kind of like how this is floating like that. I need to add a lot more bulk to it so that it's heavy here, because this is leaning way that way and it's going to have leaves and stuff on it still or the needles the pine needles so i might have to put a branch here to kind of compensate we'll see when we get a little further along but i like how this looks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to weld a little bit under here to look a little more organic so I'm going to take away some of the shape of this nut here but I think before I do that I'm going to add uh, hmm. I don't want it to look too much like a okay so this looks very manufactory. The rebar obviously looks like rebar, and this obviously looks like a nut. So I'm gonna have to do something. I want it to kind of keep some of its shape, just so you can kind of tell what it used to be, but not completely. Yeah, and I'm gonna weld this on there better as well. Delphina says, is that going on a wooden base too? Yeah, it's gonna go on a wooden base. can tell that they're not the prettiest welds like if you look but I think that will work sometimes when I'm at like the store or something like that and I see the welds on this racking or like 
how things are put together, I'm just like, ugh, that's a bad weld. So maybe I'm not so terrible. Okay. And Dana Grandma says, should we be wearing welding shields? No. But Tracy says, I don't know about welding. Is it gas or electricity? It's electricity. And then the gas is what shelters the arc so that oxygen doesn't get to it, so that it makes a good union. Uh, and then I said, she was kidding. So I was kidding. And Tammy says, heading up to a doctor's appointment. Catch you all later. Bye, everyone. Josh and Ashley. So yeah. Bye, Tammy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this piece on and then we'll do a little wrap up, let you know what's going on next, next time. Bye, Tim. I don't even recognize that person. Are they new? Uh, I don't know. Are you new? D D Nico? Dinico? However you say your name? what I'm doing now that that's in place. So just so you can kind of understand, wow it's hot. So what I did here is I basically just joined this piece of rebar with this piece of rebar to kind of give it that jungle-y look. That's not the right terminology but you get it. So here there's quite a big gap in there but it's not so big that I can't weld that closed. 
I'm not sure if that would be acceptable in the real welding world in an application for structural integrity or anything like that, but we're gonna close that up there and it'll still be open on the bottom. So let me do that one real quick here. Steve Eco says no, not being, not being, sorry, I can't talk. No, not you, been here for years. My name's Dominic. Oh, okay. I don't recognize the name, so maybe they don't comment very much. Well, thanks for being here. And I'm glad that you got yourself a, a, a welder there. That's awesome. I'm not a welder, but I would say that this is a really good, like I don't have experience with like some high-end uh, helmets, but this one is freaking delicious. I really like this one. Delicious. <laughs> I like the way that one works. Like it, this is way better than my other one. Okay, so let's go over what we did and then we'll call it a day. Look at that haircut sticking up there. Okay, let me put this back on because this is hot. Oh, I almost burnt my wrist there. Okay, so, oh, I guess I'll show you first what I just closed up. That's on that side there. Wow, it's hot. So remember that gap that was there? Now it's closed. I'll do some shaping and stuff. We'll probably end up doing that a little bit next, next uh, part, part uh, three. But uh, basically, this is what we have. And that is kind of how it starts. So now you can kind of see the time that goes into one of these. And that's if I don't have to look for any of the parts. So this took about an hour. And uh, we haven't gotten too far. But that'll kind of give you an idea of why I sell these for $1,000. Because that's an hour to only there. So those of you who have already ordered some, I appreciate it. And those who are on the fence maybe this process will will uh, push you over the edge and you'll be like yeah that's so cool i want it but let me move you a little closer but that's basically basically how i kind of start the shape of this type of sculpture anyway oh you can't really see that and i think it's kind of cool so basically what i'm going to be doing next time is is doing some filling here because obviously this and this doesn't make any sense now if you look at this over here I started out more or less the same way so this one has like a, a, a void here and here and I may do something like that on that one as well but uh, I started off with uh, you can still see some of the threads in there that I shaved off uh, that started off as a bolt and this started off as a piece of rebar and then I just put some weld, uh, some beads, laid some beads there just to give it a, an organic kind of, kind of look. So we're going to be doing that on next, on the next part, which I'm not sure when that's going to be, but, uh, we will let you know, just like we let you know with this one, it has to be a time that kind of makes sense for all of us. Now I get this question almost every time. How do you order something? I do appreciate everyone's interest. Uh, and so I don't want to miss everyone, but I see it in comments, and I see it in emails, and I see it in, in uh, other things. And I don't always get to them because they like show up in my notif they show up in my notifications, and then they disappear once I click on one sometimes. Uh, so just so everyone knows, what you want to do, if you see something that's a sculptural piece, 
usually it's not available so I don't have it listed somewhere because it's usually a commission so if you see something that you like or something that you would like you just have to email me order from Josh at gmail.com which is uh, uh, where you'll be talking to Ashley and she will basically get that set up for you so if you want something like like a bonsai tree you want a rooster something like this this one's almost done uh, you want a Here's something that's cool that's available at the moment. Uh, this one here is a, uh, a star. If you want this star, I'm not going to make more of these, I don't think, because I don't really care for them too much. But uh, this star is available. You want something like this. Uh, or if you want a dragonfly. The dragonflies are, uh, are part of the permanent catalog. You can always order one of these. Uh, you can always order my scrap metal hearts. You can always order a bunch of things, uh, but some things are one-offs depending on what they are. And uh, anyways, anything that you see is order from Josh at gmail.com. You can look at those on the Facebook page, which is Ushitat, which is spelled U-S-I-H-T-A-T. -T. It's not U-S-H, it's U-S-I-H. Um, and then if it's a painting, those are also available. Some of them you have to buy through the gallery unless I have them. And, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. How much for the star, Martha? Yeah. The star, how much are the hearts? A hundred? I guess it would be a hundred. Canadian. I sell everything in Canadian dollars, just so everyone knows. So if you're American, just minus about 22 to 26%, depending on the day. Uh, uh, yeah, and I ship everywhere. Except for, oh, Martha wants it. Okay, that's for Martha, I guess. Okay, no one inquired about the star. Martha said sold. She's going to buy it. Okay. Um, um, ben Danabrana said, do you have any large outside sculptures anywhere? Um, you have that, is it a longhorn sheep? I have a longhorn sheep, yeah. And a red deer. And red deer, yeah. And a whale. A whale. A deer. Oh, I have a whale here. It's not large. I have, I'll, I'll grab something so you guys can see it before we take off here. This is like, not large, large, but not, not large. This is a jellyfish made out of scrap metal for a yard sculpture. Ugh. It's on a, uh, I don't know what these things are called, but the base is uh, one of these things. It's a little dusty right now, but um, I have a couple of these, and then I have like a really big one that's way cooler. At Confections, Tracy just mentioned there's a gigantic jellyfish at Confections cake. Right, yeah, that one's pretty cool. If you're local, you can check that out and go get a piece of Cake. I almost said pie. They don't often sell pie, I don't think. Maybe sometimes, but. I thought they have their mini egg cheesecake for Easter. Yeah, they do. Mini egg cheesecake. Uh, uh, the junkyard dog. Dog. Oh, Robert Farley. He's he wants the uh, yeah pit bull, right? Yeah, I will be able to get to that shortly. I've been collecting. I said this in the last. On part one, but I picked up another 800 pounds of uh, 800 to a thousand pounds. I'm just guesstimating based off of the <laughs> like the un ability to lift these pails of stuff uh, of scrap metal. All that stuff is going to be turned into art. Uh, we're really hoping that this right here behind this door here is going to become uh, our shed. Um, it looks like th the price of oh, check this out. The price of, uh, of uh, construction materials is staying high, so we might not be able to get to that this year, but it would be nice because, uh, I don't know if you've seen him here, but it <laughs> it's organized in a way that I know where most of the stuff is, but it's not, uh, it doesn't look organized. Ashley's like raising her eyebrows at me, like, yeah, no, it's not organized. <laughs> but it's covered, uh, although it's flooding right now because the snow is melting. That's annoying, so I had to put like stepping stones in there made out of scrap wood. Um, but anyway, uh, that's kind of what's going on. So part three, 
we'll do that in a couple days if everything goes well. Perhaps, I don't know when it'll be, but that'll be the next part. So thank you for hanging out. Appreciate all you guys. Thanks for the super chats. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the whatever else. <laughs> Uh, Chris says 88% increase in lumber prices where I am Josh. It's Lucas. Here it's 150% uh, increase. Very ridiculous. A 2 by 4 is $7. Used to be... So for our... Used to be 2 something. Yard projects, we're going to do things that don't require... Yeah, for our yard projects, we're going to do things that don't require buying much lumber or just using the lumber that we have. Really sucks, but I guess that's the way things work when uh, when things are the way they are, you know. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys next time. No, you'll see me. I always say I'll see you guys. I don't see you guys. I'll see your names next time. Have a good day. Thank you for being here.